record call, Your Kisses Kill Me. We would like to have her sing it, but unfortunately we got so much show and so many things to do, we would like to ask you to buy it. You'll enjoy it. <laughs> we wish you could hear it now, but I would like to thank Edie because she's a great trooper and a wonderful performer, a real cheer for a nice thank gal. You. Edie Gorman. <laughs> Holy show. I would like uh, to take this opportunity to introduce my next guest. And uh, by way of doing this, I'd like to mention that next Sunday, by the way, is Father's Day. And I've been racking my brain figuring out what to get my father. I thought maybe a kid, but you guys is me. So, uh, I thought this way. My dad has been a show business for so many years that I don't know of any better gift you can give a performer than a spotlight and a stage. And I am very proud to present my dad, Mr. Danny Lewis, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Call me Pop. I, uh, I want to say that I think it was Brown's Hotel maybe 20 years ago when we worked together, really, you know, That's like right. setting it up. Yeah. Could we do a number together like that? It's been a long time. I was about so high, but I'd like to do that number for the nice people that we did then. I'd love it. Oh, well, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Now, do you know right. Okay. <laughs> when there are gray skies, but don't you mind in the least. <laughs> I don't mind the gray sky. And what do I do to them? You make them blue. Take my name. And, 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 Dad, what will your friends do? Friends may forsake me. And what will you let them do to you? Let them all forsake me. And who will you still have? In the end? Well... <laughs> I will have you. What's my name? Sonny Boy. And where was I sent from? You're sent from heaven. And do I have any particular valuation? 
reminiscing and so on, but you know, I, I do I do this some and it, I don't know, I always like maybe if I could have done your part. You mean you want me to sit on your lap? No, no, no. You you did this some with your son, right? That's right. Then would you mind if I did it with my son? I love it. Okay. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's theatrical debut. I'm proud to present my oldest son, Master Gary Lewis. <laughs> Hello, number one. Yes. He's number one. There's number two and number three. They're sitting home watching the show, right? Number four. And number four on the way. Shut your mouth. All right.
Thank you, Alfalfa. <laughs> when I'm old and gray, dear. Me want to drum or something. <laughs> Delightful, Graham. Pretty good, your grandson, huh? Thank you. It's a big thrill, son. You're yeah, wonderful. You're, nice. you're beautiful. Thank he was you. very, very good, and I think that the audience is very nice to you, particularly since there's no jokes about the fact that this is your debut. I think it would be nice if you said something nice to the people. Well, all I can say is my grandfather thanks you, my father thanks you, and I thank you. Good night. <laughs> A transistor portable by RCA Victor. So small it fits your pocket or purse. How's it sound? I'll show you. Ready? Mm -hmm. Now you try a demonstration. Hit it. Like this? Doesn't break. World's only transistor portable in an unbreakable impact case. Guaranteed five years. Another extra. Thanks to RCA Victor's exclusive power miser, this transistor costs almost as little to operate as most plug-in radios. How about price? Look, only thirty-nine ninety-five. Are there other models? Sure are. For just a few dollars more, some even let you plug in an earphone for personal listening. All have the <coughs> famous non-breakable impact case. <laughs> Very kindly. I would like to say that I went to the Copacabana about six months ago and I saw two gentlemen perform. About two weeks ago, I visited this very wonderful shapery in Chicago and I saw the same two gentlemen. I also learned that they were a tremendous match at the Palladium Theater in London. I'm very proud to have them on my show. They're great entertainers, wonderful guys, and I'm very, very thrilled to introduce America's newest comedy team, Rowan and Martin. Let's make them happy. <laughs> And how are you, Dan? I'm oh. real thrilled you're on the show. I wish we could tell you how happy we are to be there. I don't yes, think we have time, though. Well, we probably better hurry. <laughs> the show's going so great. Yeah, oh, well, yes. there, there's not a lot of time, but I just wanted to take the opportunity to tell you how thrilled I was to have you on the show because, as I said, I saw you in Chicago with the Shea Free when you did that Pat Blue Ribbon commercial <laughs> when you were singing straight and he was drinking the drunk heckler. The funniest thing I ever saw, Dick, I laughed and Dan, when you did that.